I wake up feeling a sense of dread. Just hopeless, really. It's a policy that campaigners say is devastating lives. I think the government is just breaking a basic principle of law. And we've been told about the sometimes extreme distress that it's caused for people affected. I've had to start taking antidepressants. Fortunately, we do know of at least um, a few cases where people have tragically taken their own lives. <laughs> As thousands of freelancers receive giant unexpected tax bills for past earnings, following a change in the law known as the loan charge. The campaigners say amounts to a form of retrospective taxation. But the government says that the use of schemes that involve paying contractors their income in the form of loans had only one purpose, to avoid paying tax. Under these schemes, people weren't paid, um, as you would expect, a normal salary. They would be paid a small salary, and on top of that, they would also be paid the rest of their remuneration in loans. Um, and the thing about that is that um, these loans uh, didn't pay income tax or national insurance. And now they're sending demands, in some cases for tens of thousands of pounds, to contractors who made use of the schemes. The result, an increasingly bitter argument between the tax authorities and those who were accused of illegitimate tax avoidance. Design engineer Paul King told me that for several years whilst working as a contractor, he made use of a loan payment scheme. But he says that the financial benefit was only very marginal and that he was mainly attracted to the scheme's simplicity. But Paul is now facing a bill for £67,000 in what the HMRC says is unpaid tax. For me to raise the £67,000, as I said, uh, I, it, the only way is to sell the house. I'm going through a divorce. Yeah? I've got a son who's in hospital with leukaemia. Um, and now added to that um, the £67,500 worry. This is Alva. Her partner has also been asked to pay tens of thousands of pounds in tax on past income. And she told me that the anxiety it's caused has been overwhelming. I want us to be able to get through even just one day without worrying. And I want us to be able to just get on with our lives. And just be normal. Can't really plan a future. I desperately want to be a mum. But I just don't see that happening until this is all over. And I don't know when this will be all over. So how did it come to this? And why would freelancers agree to be paid via a loan scheme in the first place? This doesn't just affect high earners, it affects a range of people. Um, from IT contractors to oil and gas workers, locum doctors, social workers, nurses, a lot of people entered into them on the advice of trusted professionals like accountants, um, tax advisors, recruitment agencies who said that they couldn't work for a particular company unless they chose to be paid via a scheme like this. But political opposition to the government's approach is growing. I'm here to meet Ross Thompson. He's one of the MPs who's calling on the government to change course. The real issue that we have, and I particularly have, with the loan charge is that we're going back, in some cases, 20 years though, um, and demanding, therefore, huge bills from people, which in many cases they just can't afford. But after a last-ditch bid to secure a delay failed, the government isn't backing down. The government insists that the loan charge is not a retrospective measure, but a charge on loans still outstanding in April 2019. They said that they don't want to make anybody bankrupt and that insolvency is only considered as a last resort. But what is beyond doubt is the visceral anger amongst many people affected, who believe the financial rug has been pulled from under them by a measure that dramatically changes their tax liability from years past. And many fear that financial ruin may be the result.